once upon a time india was known as golden bird what was the reason for this come let us know the interesting story man's intelligence thoughtfulness ingenuity and aesthetic sense developed his culture this caused the food to become a part of human life humans are the only creatures on this beautiful planet that can make their own food choices and produce the best cuisine they know how to use nature's resources since ancient times people have been using spices to make their food tasty healthy and varied they started using leaves flowers fruits roots and the barks of some plants as spices and over time he mastered the skill of making powder by processing them Spices have been used since millennia to make delicious food and also for medicine. So, many mentions of spices are found in ancient literature, including the Ramayana. In the past, the whole world, except the Indian continent, used only black pepper and salt to develop the taste. In the early days, there were very few exports from india due to poor transportation facilities therefore the arab traders of the world tried to increase communication on a large scale by building the silk route but there wasn't much of a difference the silk route was a major road used for global trade for centuries this road was built through the forest on the banks of the Nile. The main reason for this was the easy availability of water for the traders and the animals they carried. In those days, spices were transported with the help of camels and other animals. Therefore, the transportation took a lot of time and the expected quantity of spices was not exported. During the same period, the Silk Route became so famous that Mongolian robbers began to rob merchants and from time to time, the taxes began to be levied in different provinces also. Hence, the prices went up. Therefore, the use of spices began only among rich people everywhere in the world. It is mentioned in history that the King of Spain used Indian spices to enhance the taste of wine. The Roman historian of the time, Senior Pliny, said 1,900 years ago that gold from Rome was going to India because Rome was importing luxurious goods from it. That's why India was called the Golden Bird. Later, between 1453 and 1535, in order to increase the traffic of the spice trade to a great extent, the Portuguese and the Spanish traders built sea ships and found a sea route for communication. The route was then called the Vasco da Gama route and later the Columbus route. Due to this sea route, the spice trade increased rapidly. Spices began to be exported at affordable prices and in large quantities. As a result, the spices of India started reaching all the common people of the world at affordable prices. And their unique fragrance spread among the rich families as well as the common families of the world. 
During this period, the Portuguese built a large number of military ships on the sea route and began to impose taxes on the exporters of spices who carried them for trade from India to other countries of the world. In a way, the Portuguese began to rule the sea route. Further, the Portuguese took over the province of Goa for the export of spices and built a seaport there. They started exporting spices from India to many countries of the world on a large scale. But the traders of some countries were not ready to trade spices through the Portuguese. So, the Portuguese made the rules of the export trade from 1510 to 1511 and started trading in the export of spices. After conquering Goa, the Portuguese established the ports of Malacca and Murtugal on the Malay Peninsula for the spice trade and established trade links with China and Siam. After getting the information of spices from the Arabs, the British also started the spice trade by paying taxes to the Portuguese. Later, the number of traders increased. The spice trade started on a large scale all over the world, including Europe and the UK. The importance of spices has remained intact from centuries till today. Spices are used not only to make food tasty, but also to make it healthy. We know the medicinal uses of spices since ancient times. This is the reason why spices are mentioned in texts like Sushruta Sanhita and Charaka Sanhita of Ayurveda and by the Shalya Tantra exponent Sushruta Acharya. As the climate and rainfall in India are conducive to the production of spices, the spices produced here are naturally more delicious and aromatic. The best spices are made from it. Due to these reasons, India has a global share of 75% in the production, manufacture and export of spices. In carrying forward the tradition of the Indian spice industry of the last two and a half thousand years, our Santa Krupa Mahila Gruha Udyog and Handmade Masale have been involved for the last 25 years. Endorsed by expert chefs, our quality spices of different flavors are made by the traditional hand pounding method, which has been used for centuries and other standardization techniques. At the same time, we are determined to spread the Indian food culture to the country and the whole world by developing different flavors from different regions of India. We are confident that we will be blessed with a golden chapter in the history of handcrafted spices.